Hi YouTube, it's Leslie from Skinny Decaf Latte and I'm really excited because I just got this package in the mail. It says, welcome to you. It's from 23andMe. So 23andMe is a company like Ancestry.com and they analyze your DNA. Uh, now before you go, why in the world would you do that? It's not like a paternity test type thing. <laughs> it's really just to get more information on my background. My best friend just did it through Ancestry.com and was able to get her genetic or excuse me, her background to the percentage of you know what she is. So I thought it was fascinating, something I've always wanted to do. Um, some companies like 23andMe also will connect you with cousins or aunts, anyone else in the registry that's uh, related to you. So I ended up going with 23andMe after analyzing a few different options. Um, National Geographic even has one that they're doing. But I went with 23andMe because they have the highest rating. They also um, test people internationally. And because I know for a fact I have family in England and in Africa, I wanted to have my options open in case I could connect with family abroad. Um, Ancestry.com only does it in the U.S. So who would want to do this? Well, if you're like me and you don't know... Um, a part of your family history, definitely this is something that could maybe lead you into the, the right direction. Maybe you get some clues. At least find out your genetic breakdown. Um, they do break it down like um, even where in Africa, in Europe. Um, Native America was kind of tricky, Native American, but I'll post a link with more info on that. Um, if so, yeah, if you're of African American descent and you cannot really go back beyond your great-grandparents or great-grandparents. This is interesting. Also, if you're adopted, a lot of people are doing this to hopefully reconnect with family. If you're of mixed heritage and you don't know what, um, you know, for instance, on my mother's side, um, I, my family I know were African and English, but because of that interracial marriage that happened in the 30s, the English family just completely chopped off our branch of the family uh, because she married an African man. So uh, I think it would be amazing to reconnect with both sides of that that branch of my family, both in Africa and in England. Um, you know, some families, you know, you have rumors or you think, you know, it's been passed down, you're part Native American, you're Jewish, or this or that. And so this will just lay it out on paper for you. And it's, I think it can... Uh, if not give you closure, at least give you some insight more into who you are. So, um, this is really interesting. The FDA put a ban on, originally, uh, this company was also giving you information on any illnesses that you may need to watch out for because of your bloodline. And there's something going on with that where they're not allowing you right now. But if the ban lifts, then that's something else that you'll get, just so you can keep in mind. <coughs> excuse me, you know, diabetes, things like that. So this is my before video. Um, it looks really easy. I'm just supposed to register the kit online. Ah, sorry, it's kind of getting dark here. Clouds are coming down. Um, and then no food or drink for 30 minutes. Then you spit into this thing and fill it to the line. Close the funnel, screw the cap back on, seal it in the bag, and mail the kit in. And from what I've been reading online, people get their results four to six weeks on average. So this should be very interesting. 